So if you came from a family where there is no idol, you didn't know anything about demons. So when you are talking, when we're talking about demons, you hold mic and say, ain't nothing like about demons. Demons are not real. If they're real, let them show their face. I mean, I, I think we heard it from that interview of that brother, um, Pastor James, Intercessor James. Yeah, his interview covered it. Even though he was doing deliverance and healing the sick and doing every all, he even encountered Jesus. And yet, 10 years later, he found out that a curse that was in his life from the one day he was born was still operating in his life. There are so many pastors that uh, there are so many pastors that have gone to that the that the, that the look oil for deliverance, and before they know, they see themselves reacting like Dracula. <sighs> I'm inside of. And the past, I remember what that the cell man said one day. He said the pastor came to his to his office one day, and he just saw the pastor. He saw a sorry. He saw a demon beside the, the man of God. He said, um, "Can I pray for you? There is a spirit." And, the old man said, I don't believe in all that nonsense. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Just, just speak a word and bless me. He said, I understand you don't. He said, I don't believe in demons. A Christian cannot be possessed. It's not like that. He said, I understand. But can we pray? They said, the, when the man, the man said, when he recovered himself, he has scattered that the apostle said, man's office scattered and vomited all manner of nonsense. He looked at that the same man and said, Kai, you have destroyed my whole theology. He said, what has he been preaching? He said, well, that is it. So if you came from a family where there is no idol, you didn't know anything about demons. So when you are talking, when we're talking about demons, you hold mic and say, ain't nothing like about demons. Demons are not real. If they're real, let them show their face. Every day they show their face. Oh. See, if they are real, let them show their face. Because you don't know it. But we that we are in Africa, we know. See, when people are saying, there is no demon anywhere. We in Africa, we are saying, <laughs> you don't know. We see them, koro, koro. Someone will tell you you will die. You will actually die that day. Someone will say you will break your leg. The next day they break a fire, your leg breaks. In fact, in our own, we, we know where they sell the charms. So people go to the charm and buy 13 naira. You have elephantitis that can kill you. 13 naira. Not even up to a dollar. It's about 0 0.01 cent. And they, they will buy a charm. They sell it in the market. We, they know where they sell it. You go and buy. So you don't need to go and make the charm. You buy it. And you're not going to say the sayable. Back then in North, where we school, people will always steal your books and textbook. Some people will go to where the buyer, they go to back of the fence. That is the nature of there. 200 naira. The man will tell you the name of the person that stole it and how he stole it. Yes. That's why you need to be on fire. So that people, when they encounter you, they don't need to go and encounter an Ezem more. You know what I'm saying? So when people, when people say, when we teach certain things and people don't understand it, they, we look at them because, you see, the greatest thing God has ever done, for, God will do to any Christian is to be, to be given birth in African country. You see, if you're a Christian from Nigeria or from Africa here, you don't need to be taught about witchcraft. You came from the surrounding of witches. So you know them. And that's what I'm saying. They are pressing you. A white man will tell you, oh, it's brain powerless. It's brain. <laughs> we say brain. You will die. You will, you will press you. You will die. Because we know them. Sometimes when they are pressing you, you are actually seeing the spirit pressing you. Yes. You are, see, you are seeing the spirit pressing you. You know this is a demon. You are looking at it. They say, no. Is a fragment of your imagination. <laughs> May he press you. So are you. <laughs> fragment of your imagination. Every woman ever is a fragment of my imagination. <laughs> Can't I now stop imagining? But that is the truth. 